I had a strong, me, everything I got is because of my background, my strong foundation, my, my mother, my mother, number one, um, my mom is that mom who going to put everything before herself. We're going to put her kids before herself. She'll do whatever it takes. And, um, yeah, my mom came to this country. Um, yeah, we came, we, my, I wasn't even born yet, but, uh, we came illegally and, um, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do for a dream. You know what I'm saying? A dream that you want to see your kids live. And, um, and we, they, you know, my brothers, my two older brothers, um, my mom, they sacrificed so much, you know what I'm saying? They could have, they could have killed themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, I ain't going to go in depth, but it's just a lot you got to go through. And, um, uh, we made it. And from there, my mom always, yeah, just looked out for us. And my dad was already here working. And um, he ended up moving from California to Atlanta for a job, for a job like, because uh, uh, right before I was born, they was working on the Olympics, the Atlanta Olympics. So a lot of, that's even a reason right now why Georgia is one of the fast growing, fastest growing uh, Hispanic populations, you know, because the beginning of that was because of the Olympics, you know what I'm saying? They was doing the Olympics in Atlanta. so. They brought a lot of workers to come, you know, make all that stuff. And uh, you know how we is, you know, we workers. Uh, so my dad was already down here working. So my mom brought us down here to the A and that's when I was born. So yeah, that's how I came out, how I am. And I'm forever grateful, you know what I'm saying? All that. So I feel like it's just the American dream. Yo, your family's from Guerrero, right? Yeah. That's what's up. That's over there by uh, Acapulco. You ever yeah, it's by, yeah, it's by over there. I went over there when I was uh, maybe like in this, either, I don't know what grade in middle school, but I think sixth grade. And uh, it was a very humbling experience. I remember, I remember going out there. First of all, we drove all the way from fucking College Park, which took like fucking three days. We was in the Chevy Lumina, goddamn car kept breaking down. That shit was. <laughs> Yeah, car kept breaking down, um, got down, what else? Uh, fucking, when we got in Mexico, it was hella like cliffs, like going around the mountains, like, dog, we, we went deep in there, it was, it was crazy, and then as soon as we got there, it was like where my mom and them from and my dad, like nothing but dirt roads. Uh, I remember we were staying in like a shack, like, like you see where I live at now, like, this thing got air conditioner, it got the ceiling, all that, man. It was nothing but concrete, like a kind of like where uh, if y'all watch SpongeBob, where like Patrick stay at, but it still, it don't smush you though. It was just like, it was more of a rectangle and it don't smush you, it was just a rectangle. And um, all concrete, I remember, yeah, no windows, nothing, just a door to walk through, no carpet. Um, I think we had like a, just like a little a mattress on the floor on the outside of the, no bathroom, the bathroom to do anything. You want to take a shower, you know, use it. You had, it was a, like a little well, like with the water and stuff. You got to get a bucket, take a shower. You got to get a bucket for the, for the toilets, all that, all like concrete. And, um, yeah, it was like the wild, wild west, bro. And, it was a very humbling experience. I loved it so much though, cause at the end of the day, it was me going back to my roots, the culture, you know, just just seeing all that, seeing my family, going to the corner, little corner store with all the different chips, yeah. spicy shit, all that, getting goddamn picadas, all that, different type of tacos at every corner, like. It was cool, man. I liked it. And I, I, I never really went back to where my parents from, but I need to go soon. Then when I grew 2013 or 14, I went to Mexico City and I I never really been around, so I didn't know. I'm thinking like this shit finna be like where I'm from. I'm thinking that when as soon as I get there, I'm like, oh, this shit like the city. It's not nothing like where I'm from. So I got both experiences and it was cool, man. Like it was cool. I liked it. Man, so I remember you was out there with Paco, right? Yeah, I brought, yeah, that's when I went to Mexico City. Yeah, Paco, I brought Paco out there. It was 
man, that was super cool, man, because I don't know, we just had lots of fun, man. Um, I feel like I was just in the hometown again, you know, and my favorite food, tacos, it was tacos at every corner, goddamn. Bro, bro. Yeah, that shit was crazy. 